you are here for the um, International Refugee Day. Um, after your visit to uh, the reception uh, center here, what is your first impression after seeing people here? But it's terrible. So you have people here that got the court decision that applied for uh, um, to get a place to sleep at night, uh, that got a court decision and that uh, even though they got the court decision saying they are entitled to a place to sleep, there are no places. And so the Belgian government turns them away. Um, it's, it's awful because it means that people are going to sleep in the street. Uh, they don't know where to go. Very often they have spent all their money. Um, so this is unacceptable very clearly. It's also illegal. And how, what is your message to the Belgian authorities for that? Well, we should guarantee, uh, first of all, at the European level, because this is a, a, a European failure. Uh, this is a failure of, of solidarity in Europe. You know, this is something, it's, as you have seen, it's, it's not a, a huge amount of people that are standing here, but these are all individuals uh, that have rights, that are going to sleep tonight in the street. Uh, they are families, they are... So, this is a, a European failure. Belgium, of course, should and can do more. The, 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 the courts, the Belgian courts are very clear on this. You know, at least the court decision should be respected. Uh, and, uh, and secondly, we need at, at the European level a real solidarity. What are you going to, to propose for the um, European Parliament to act to, to this? Because I think this is because like, um, international protection is a human right. And what we have seen is like a violation against the human right. So how would that be addressed in the European Parliament? I think the example of what is happening uh, or what happened at the moment when the Ukrainians came, you know, there was a lot of solidarity. There still is a lot of solidarity. Uh, this opens ways to show, hey, if we can do this for millions of Ukrainians that are fleeing their country, and, and it's a good thing to, we need to, 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 to help these people, then we can also do it for other people that are also fleeing war and misery. Um, what is your message, the last message for these people who you met, what is your message to them? To keep fighting, struggling, organizing. Uh, in the end, it's it's uh, you know justice will prevail. I've also seen a lot of people here that come to help, uh, that, that 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 give coffee. Uh, it, it's it's small things, but I think together we can really change it and 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 make sure uh, that solidarity prevails. Okay, thank you so much. No worries. Thank you.